Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Dyson with Death. Well, back in Black Steel Keep. Mm hmm. Ziggy's in charge of the mining operation for now. Yes. And uh, Swihard returns to Dunhilda. A quick check to see that there's no encounters along the way. Although you do now have. Are you wearing your. Um, Mithril breastplate as you travel? I guess I might as well. <clears throat> I really, I plan on upgrading my own at least. I don't imagine that Einhard needs more than decorative mithril. I mean, if that's all you want to give him is decorative mithril. <laughs> is that really what I'm, your standards are? A cleric of crafting no. decorative mithril? I'm more thinking I'm a PC. I'm more likely to get into, uh, into actual encounters, but... Uh, <laughs> All right. Well, you can return to the keep. Yeah, I'll um, probably wear I'll wear my mithril breastplate. Huh? Um, I think this will it will act as like a steel breast. Like if it's mithril minus one, it's the equivalent of just like a steel breastplate, right? So, right. Yeah. But at a, a fraction of the weight. Mm -hmm. Okay. You return to Black Steel Keep. Your ancestral home, a, a fairly sacred space for you, I would assume. But uh, within Blacksteel Keep, there are still deeper uh, sanctuaries. Well underground, the place where you forged your other weapons. Mm. Where you toiled with Ziggy and Dunhilda. Yeah. Um, and it is Dunhilda who I'm going to see. Although you're gonna walk up to Black Steel Keep wearing a mithril breastplate, mm -hmm. which will be noted by all of the guards and everyone that you pass. Oh. You'll see them quiet down and look at you. Mm. you know, all dwarven eyes are upon you as you walk into the keep. Mm. Conversation ceases. I mean, I've always had mithril, right? I mean, I've, uh, right. You have had Not mithril always. components. Since you had the. the that mythical crown that you've been wearing. wearing. Yeah. That's what it was. It was a it's a bronze helm, but it had mithril uh a mithril crown, like mithril uh a mithril laurel. Yeah. Like the mithril leaves. Yeah. You move through the keep with ease, guards stepping aside, no questions mm -hmm. asked, until you find Dunhilda down. Well, in I the guess forges. I should find oh. Einhard first and present okay. him with his own mithril breastplate. Which is actually better than looking at the mine. It's got the dragon scales mm -hmm. and stuff. I'll eventually okay. put dragon scales on mine, I think. But... All right, <laughs> well, you can go find your elder brother. Um, and let's see. You probably catch him towards the end of the day, coming out of dinner with some other people. Mm hmm. And uh, I think you catch him in a hallway as he's mm -hmm. en route somewhere. He mm -hmm. stops when he sees you, casting his gaze upon your I, armor. I, I grin ear to ear. What is this? I, brother, I have brought you a gift. And I, uh, I don't know if I carry, I probably, it was probably on the, on the pack goats on the way in, but I carried mm -hmm. it up. And I've probably got the other breastplate in my hand or behind my back, and I sort of pull it out. A, uh, it is uh, it is only a first attempt, but uh, I have forged a uh, breastplate fit for a dwarven king, and I kneel before him awkwardly he in this hallway. <laughs> steps forward and looks at it from afar without touching it yet. He sees the brass scales. Uh, the mithril inlaid or the, the mithril plating the careful carving and etching into it and glances at yours which is similar but not quite as decorative and missing the dragon scales mm -hmm. for me of course they're not perfect yet I say standing up but uh, I hope. only my first attempts he takes the plate from you um, 
and immediately starts like unbuckling his armor, letting it drop to the ground where he stands. <clears throat> you guys can buckle on the new plates together. Mm -hmm. And he moves around because it's so light. Mm. He hits it hard with his hand ah, and strong. Mm. Your first attempt, you say. Gods. I nod. I think I can do it better. Yes. And the limbs? The greaves? It, it can be done, but uh, our supplies are limited. He licks his lips. At this point, I have enough for maybe one full suit. If we are to unite the disparate dwarven clans, especially the city of Milfaldur, we will need a show of force, unlike the world has seen before. This will be it. With your craftsmanship and my leadership, the dwarves will be one kingdom. Our enemies will be slain. And we can live in peace and prosperity. Set to work, brother. Uh, but first, let me take this for a test run. And he will head out to the courtyard, right. gather a couple say, of people. Oh, yeah. As he's leaving, I say, uh, uh, don't go easy on it. I, uh, I needs to be re needs to be reforged anyways. Hmm. He'll head out to the courtyard and spar with his minions, his underlings, his warriors. Mm -hmm. We should probably upgrade our axes to mithril axes as well. <laughs> mm. um, if I've never worked with mithril before, do I need to reroll quality checks? So I've made high quality steel battle axes, but I assume mm -hmm. making a mithril battle axe will require fresh rolls. I think so. And. I was also thinking that Mithril should probably take a little bit longer than other things. It is a perhaps a, a more difficult material to work with. That's probably why you your first two attempts were so decorative, is that uh, mm -hmm. you're used to you're not used to taking quite as much time. Not that you can't, but it's a, a new new tool for you. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I will head down to the basement now to find Dunhilda. All right. Uh, <clears throat> Dunhilda, I was thinking about what you said about the uh, shape wood. Mm-hmm. Perhaps uh, there's a way we can make our own without need to treat with the elves. I know of no elves that live here. Mm. No. Speak, speak, I, master. I said, I said without the elves. How, how then? <clears throat> In the, uh, I will, I will call upon Seor, my god. Uh, and in the same way as the, uh, Elves become uh, one with a tree. I will become one with a tree. And uh, from my flesh, shall make branches strong as a dwarf, better than the elven wood. She I looks upon. Oh, I, I will need your help. Harvesting my boughs. Of course. Right. Uh, and I will need to gather, I guess I just need a twig from a tree and I'll memorize a tree spell. All right. You get a, a twig from a shrub, a nearby healthy shrub. Yeah. And I guess we'll see what happens. Is it just going to like turn back into flesh when the duration expires or is there a, or a... You know, I've been wondering about this. You're going to, how much, 
how much wood are you going to am produce? I gonna, am I going to lose, like, fingers to... Uh... I was wondering about losing fingers or toes or something, but that would be pretty <laughs> devastating. Um, Espe especially in bulk. But... Right. I couldn't, like, make a sapling of myself, could I? <laughs> well, I think that's what the tree spell does. Well, no, make a, make a, like, like, split off my, like, make, turn into a tree and then make clones of myself out of the tree. Oh, I see. No, I think once you, um, no, I don't think the, the tree bits that you take off will grow once the, the spell the has ended. of a small living tree or shrub or that of a large dead tree trunk with only a few limbs. Armor, cat, armor, and eight and hit points. Are those of the caster? I can remove the spell at any time. Clothing and gear discarded with the caster. Yeah, it doesn't really say. Okay. <clears throat> so I guess we see what happens. What sphere is this in? It's uh. It's, it's got to be plant. Oh yeah, plant for sure. Yeah. Um, it's got to be. So we head into the temple, I think. Not, mm -hmm. not the forge. The forge is the forge isn't a holy forge, right? There's a temple as well. Right. The temple and the forge are separate places within the dwarven structure. Seems more appropriate, temple or forge. Mm -hmm. I asked Dunilda. Temple. Okay. She knows. Going to the temple. Is uh, Rohana in here? The priestess. She. Uh, I guess it's after dinner. You've already chatted with your brother, so she's probably back in the temple cleaning it up for the day, preparing, you know, uh, doing the final tidying up before heading off to bed. That's why I already didn't Hilda come in carrying a saw. <laughs> Greetings. What brings my, you my back? Holy forge of, or my holy symbol of Seor and Mithril mm -hmm. Hammer. Ah. <clears throat> uh, Holy, I have holy work to do. And what better place than the temple? She will finish up her duties and leave mm -hmm. you be. Unless oh. for some reason you want her here. Might be helpful having her around. Okay. Yeah. I think I'll bring her in on the plan. Okay. I have need of... Uh, holy components to match the mithril we mine. Wait, isn't it Johanna, not Rohana? Maybe it's Johanna. Yeah. yeah, okay, cool. Okay, There's a lot of Rohanas too. But yeah. Johanna. And I think Dunhilda is just a smith. I don't think she's actually a cleric. I think these stats think are in right. order. I think yeah. you're right. Yeah. yeah. And Johanna and is a cleric of Saur. Uh, no. No, Cleric of so. Martha? Do I don't remember her alignment. Yeah, I, think she, I think she had healing. She might be just a generalist, if that's a thing. It is a thing, yeah. I don't think she's a she's a cleric, say her. Okay. Anyways. So I said I had holy business and that I need a, and I need a holy materials to match the mithril in mine. Well, it just is a... Just as uh, the sparks from Sayor's forge fell down to earth and created us dwarves, the sparks of my flesh will, uh, we will harvest to make uh, weapons of war to protect us. Mm. From your flesh? <clears throat> um... I begin, uh, I strip off my armor. I guess I down to my small clothes. Mm hmm So that it'll be easier for Dunhilda. Um, um, I nod. The, uh, the flesh of a dwarven cleric freely given. <clears throat> uh, let's, a let's rare see ingredient enough... indeed. <laughs> we'll see if there's enough, uh, uh, enough holiness in this place to, uh, make this work. Mm -hmm. So I pull out the twig and my uh, holy symbol of Seor, which is a it's a hammer. I think I made it out of mithril at some point. It's just a little ornamental hammer. Mm -hmm. Ding, 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 ding. That I wear around my neck. Excellent. Until I finish, finish my uh, magic equipment. 
and I will uh, cast the tree spell right here in the temple. Um, becoming a dwarvy tree. Right? What sort of tree is a dwarvy tree? I don't know. I feel like the de the example they gave of the dead tree with a few branches sounds like the easiest to harvest. But I liked your I liked the whole the brambles and things. Mm. <laughs> or like roots. What's like an underground tree? Uh, hmm. Something, a tree with deep roots. Right. Maybe more of a stump. <laughs> uh, hmm. White oaks, hickories, walnuts. Ooh, I think walnut is very... That feels like a very dwarven tree to me. Deep roots producing these fruits, these nuts with like hard shells around them. Mm hmm. What does a walnut tree look like? I think uh, hickory is very hard. Mm hmm. That's what they use to make uh, like tool handles, like axe handles. Mmm. But. Walnut tree like. Yeah, I, I'm down for either trickery, hickory, or walnut. I don't think it matters because I think I'm just the stump. <laughs> right. <laughs> Okay, you create a tree here in the keep. Uh, I, be I become the tree. <laughs> you become the tree. Your roots kind of roll across the tiled work, digging into little cracks and crevice, upturning the, the ground and the, the masonry here, sort of molding the floor as you dig into it. And in yeah, a moment- Up here on the altar, yeah. You are a tree. Yeah. And you can see as if you were a person. You can turn your head, although no part of you turns, and you have a similar field of view and similar senses, but just you can just look in any direction you want as you please. Um, well, we've got 11 turns, and uh, I think I go into a trance, into, into prayer, channel with Sayor, try to go to a happy place, because if Dunhilda follows my instructions, she's about to start sawing off pieces of me. Yeah. Coming up to you is Johanna, who will put a hand on your trunk and speak the words of a blessed spell Ooh, as Dunhilda better. pulls out a saw <laughs> and comes up to one of your branches and begins a <laughs> which you can feel through your body. It hurts, ah, and the tree I begins think I to scream, leak. But the, but the tree doesn't scream, does it? No, its leaves well, begin to shimmer. Cannot reveal that the plant is actually a person. So I think I, I think I scream, but no one hears my sound, my cries, but say or. No, and a uh, any normal test. I don't think I bleed. Right? A and red sap it, leaks from the. The hole, Maybe. you know, it's not blood, but it's just a little bit of sap begins to trickle from where you are, slightly discolored, which and is if, not uh, uncommon. Yeah, um, and if no inspection can reveal that it's not actually a plant, or that it's not actually a person, that it is a plant, then chunks of wood should fall off, right? Mm. Should... Chunks of the tree should fall off? Chunks of the tree, right? You should be able to chop off chunks of the tree, right? If it's indistinguishable, Mm -hmm. Oh no, although the closest, yeah, the closest inspection cannot reveal that it is a person. For all normal tests, he's in fact a tree. Yeah, that includes so cutting. That includes cutting. I mean, I've got HP. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm willing I think to you're going to lose probably about, what is a, the combat and tactics says if you lose an arm, your total HP is reduced by 25%. So I think, I think for so, our and then purposes, a fifty or something like that. For yeah. our purposes, you'll be losing twenty-five percent of your HP as your branch is sawed off. Mm -hmm. Yes. And uh, I was going to say, I, yeah, I'm willing to go. I was willing to go even lower, but we'll see. Well, yeah. Like I, I would turn back from a tree if it gets to the like. I'm not going to die here, but <laughs> right, right. <laughs> gets yeah. But uh, well, the saws cut through your. Your your oak, your mm -hmm. wood, your woodiness, and um, it, when it is done, the two look at you, confused. Not really confused. They know what's going on, but 
it's odd to be cutting apart a person. And uh, mm -hmm. even if you are a tree. And the branch is nice and solid and long and perfect for the needs of halberds. Um, mm -hmm. And then uh, Dunhilda says to the tree, can we take more? Shall, shall I take another branch? Creak. Oh god, it hurts so bad! They can't hear anything. Um, they hear I nothing think... but take your silence. I think so, you... right? As a, an attempt to go for another branch, hacking it off as well with a saw. It will suck if this doesn't work. Like, I, maybe the first time should have just been a test, but I'm fine to go down to like a quarter. If so, another branch should be another 25%. 25%, yeah. So it'll be down, down to, to a quarter HP. If so, if, yeah, if they, I stay a tree, and if they take that as a sign to keep going. They'll take three branches from you, uh, whereupon you turn back into dwarven form with huge gashes all over you, circle cuts like spiraling down your arm, blood flowing sort of freely. The the two look I on in horror. on the altar, Urgh, grunting. Uh, did, did it work? I look up from my pool of blood and are they, they are, holding, are they holding wood or are they holding uh They are holding flesh? wood, yes. In their hands are the wood of your your blood. I collapse Jeez. in a pool of my blood, looking up at the roof of the church, the ceiling of the church, and sighing in relief. Johanna will uh, put a calm and cool hand on the center of your chest and uh, stop your bleeding with a cure light wound spell causing it to abate, but tells you, so I heard this is an unusual thing that you have done. I would take bed rest for the, re uh, for the remainder of your health. I would, uh, these are magical wounds. I would be cautious about healing them. I, I nod. I think it is, it is. I need to, f I need to feel this sacrifice. There's an understanding hmm. and um, she leaves you be. And you can rest up. What is your, how much HP are you down now? So I was just calculating. So uh -huh. 31 divided by four, 7.75. Um, Woo. So. so you're down, you're like 24 HP down. Yeah. Um, how much wood do we get from that? Is that... That will be enough for three halves, no problem. Um, uh, and then probably some other little uh, bits and pieces could be used for bolts or small... Like, there'll be some... What do you call the yeah. extra wood left over? Um, some extra Trimmings, little bits lying around. Shavings. Some. Yeah. yeah. I kind of wanted them all to be the same, but maybe this is maybe there's better options for the halberds. Mhm. Mm I don't know if I can do that again. We'll see how much time we have. Okay. Well, some time will have to pass now as you rest and recover. What is the the purpose of this wood for what shall it be used? I'm not sure. If I was, if I could have gotten enough of it, I was thinking to just mass produce the halberds, but maybe that's a little, a little much. I think you can, but it'll just take, you know, you get three halberd halves for this, and then you take the time to make the heads and it'll be a slow process to make these mithril weapons, which makes sense. They shouldn't be uh, factory produced. They should be mm -hmm. works of art, or yeah. some true craftsmanship. Yeah, and maybe I can make enough of this that it's just the, it's the standard for my mythical weapons. We'll call this steel wood, maybe? Mm -hmm. <laughs> After, uh... Yeah. Um, if I do wind up making a mithril axe, maybe that's the... Uh... Maybe I would use this for a haft, but I haven't gotten there yet. I do need a mithril axe. Need so much. Mm. Mm. The greed grows. So and it sounds things. like Einhard wants a full suit of mithril plate. 
Mm -hmm. It does. Mm. That's what he wants. Let's see. Well, there's a lot to do. All right. Let's get uh, let's get cracking. You have a bunch of mithril with you. There's still some more being mined back there, but you have more than enough on hand to make what you need, right? Yeah, I think we're going to hope that the mining operation goes well enough and finish the uh, finish the or like make a mithril breastplate here mm -hmm. or a mithril i'll start with mithril limbs actually okay to finish out ironhard's uh set um, yeah and what do you think the an appropriate modifier would be for um working with mithril instead of uh, a more common metal that you've practiced with i almost feel like one and a half or two times. You're thinking in terms of how long it takes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You want to do an so additional 50% or additional 100%? Uh, either seem fine. Well, let's go with 50. Um, okay. So instead of six weeks, we're talking nine. Yeah, we'll take nine weeks for the chest and instead of 10 for the limbs, it'll be 15 for the limbs. Okay, so I think- And uh, you'll definitely need the person here that that is molded for to yeah. do proper measurements and fittings and adjustments. All right, so we spend 15 weeks finishing Einhard's uh, plate. Mm hmm And I roll, and I get a 19 on the limbs. Woo! Oh, man. So that is 15 additional weeks. It's a long time. Yeah. Okay. Um, and I have lost count of how much mithril I have. Uh, I because, have uh, these I numbers right here. Yeah. yeah. All right. So should I stop keeping track or what? Yes. Do stop keeping track. Okay. Um, 16.74 minus 9.8 will be... 6.94 pounds of mithril remain after this. Six pounds. Is that including the halberd heads I was pl I had set aside? Yes. Not? Yes. That is um all mithril that is not currently in weapon or armor or holy symbol or crown form. All mithril that is ready to be crafted. Uh, was there any news in those 15 weeks? Um, yes, there is news, but it is being... There is a... How do we say? Einhard is eager for his medals, his armor to be made. So he mm -hmm. waits to tell you anything until you have finished crafting the gear. Mm -hmm. And when you were done and you present him with the beautiful mithril plated limb, uh, mithril limbs here, and you equip them upon him, and they function perfectly and beautifully, he says to you, This is excellent, brother. Excellent. Mm. However, in your feverish work, the world has altered slightly. Hmm. Is that I believe that thing you were talking about in the East has arrived. I believe... It is upon us now, or near to us, not quite at our doorstep. What the towns heard? of Meadstead as a... Meadstead has been overrun. Overrun? Mm -hmm. by, by what? By an army out of fortune. An army that. Fortune. Yes. That's, we have uh, not, not seen right. anything that's... ourselves. But the reports came to Tharnam, and from there they trickled here. An army appeared on the steps of Meadstead one day. 
made camp outside the town. And in the morning, when they launched their attack, the leaders of Meadstead already lay dead. Their commanders sleep in their beds, exsanguated, lifeless, with no leadership to defend. It was easily swept aside. And what's more, a similar army has encamped themselves outside of Tharnam, just down the river. They have Tharnum. not they have not pushed in, but they have laid siege to the town, cutting out all routes southward from it. Army, this this isn't right. This isn't what I foresaw. Is it not? You said a great evil in the east. I didn't. Perhaps I was mistaken. Well, prophecies are rarely what they seem at first glance. What of, uh. Stonegate? Is that his name? The uh, Lord of Tharnum? Lord of Tharnum. Is he. He holds still. What is your decision? Do we retreat or reinforce Tharnum? Our brethren can hold out for years. Maybe not the humans in the town. They might go a little stir crazy in the dark. But our people have shut doors made of stone and metal, warded themselves off from the outside, and can hold for as long as need be. Uh, I see no purpose in joining the fray. Siege will... The humans will eventually give up their siege. They will grow bored and move on. They have not the means to break down the gates and the walls. And if they did, inside await many skilled men ready to take them down. Very prudent. Yes, time is on our side. I just thought you should know. Hmm. Let's see. I think that is all the news for now. Uh, this place, he changes the subject quickly, awkwardly not wanting to get too emotional with you, is uh, magnificent. See how I run? Mm -hmm. I could... He now has AC 20 with just the plate on. And if that plate chest can be fixed, it'll be AC 21. Which I guess with a the an AC... Uh, if we were to allow shields with mithril to provide plus one to AC... Which I don't think they should. I think yeah. mithril shields should just be lighter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, that'll still get them to 24. So with a shield, they'll have 24 AC without any additional um, protection spells or Wait, fighting styles. Be, isn't he 20 now? Oh, uh, he's 20 now, yes. With the shield, it'd be 23. But if that breastplate can How be reinforced. Get, is that with the shield proficiency or something? Yeah. 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 Oh. He's a great warrior. He's got a shield proficiency. I need a shield proficiency. I think I have shield fighting style. What does that do? Uh, oh, no, I, have a shield, to... I do have a shield proficiency. Yeah. Okay. okay. Perfect. So then maybe I'm underestimating my shield. Oh, I've got mm. a buckler right now. Hmm. That should be better. If I make it out of mithril, I can have a lighter shield that, or like a similar weight that provides three AC. Yeah. Okay. Um, is, has there been any word from the from the mine? I ch there was word a little while ago, but when Tharnum came under siege, um, we've been busy here. It's such a remote outpost. I doubt anyone would find it. So there's still there's still miners there. Yes, and your, and your apprentice Ziggy is there. 
He's not my apprentice. Uh, assistant? Sure. You know, he's the uh, Castellan's son. He's got no yes. uh, no particular talent for mining or forging, but uh, he's, an, he's an honest lad. Hmm. Mm. Keep a secret. Um, yeah. Are, is your is your honor guard still there? The halberdiers? They are. And I am confident that they, with their mithril weapons, will keep any threat at bay, human or otherwise. So. There is, uh... How about that breastplate? Mm. He grins. Mm. Begrudgingly, Zweihard rebuilds his breastplate, or makes another. I probably let him keep his unless he turns it back in and melt down the one that I'm wearing. Uh, he better. will give it back to you. He understands okay. Mithril's a, a precious resource. Okay. The dragon scales can be pulled off. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And right. nine weeks later, he gets a passable breastplate. <laughs> uh, ooh, very good. All right, so you have a flawed breastplate, and he has a suit of full plate, a full dwarven mithril plate, perhaps the most impressive non-magical armor one can have. What we said, this is another nine weeks? Yep. Okay. I'll just do some quick math here. It's a lot of time. Um... I eventually want to do this to all of the mithril, but while I've got this mithril breastplate, mm -hmm. I would like to uh, give it a little magic on it. Ooh. So it's not, it won't be entirely non-magical. What are you gonna do to it? I would like to curse this breastplate uh -oh. using the reverse of a remove curse spell, cause curse. Let's well, read which, this. On which one? Einhard's breastplate. Hold on, let me get to the end, but uh, feel free to let your imagination run wild. Um, so the spell as written, it is permanent. Uh, the reverse bestow curse. Oh, it does last for one turn for every experience level of the priest. I'm hoping I can, this can just be a permanent curse, but maybe not. So let's see, 50% of the time reduces one ability of the victim to three, 25% of the time lowers the attack roll, minus five, 25 makes 50% likely to drop whatever they're handing. It is possible for the priest to devise his own curse, and it should be similar in power to those given here. The subject of a bestow curse must be touched. I would like to curse this breastplate so that if anyone, if anyone other than a dwarf, maybe for this one I should say anyone other than a dwarven thane is to mm. don this armor, they will be cursed by the gods. Oh... And I'm thinking mechanically we can just use the basic rules of it. I guess a remove curse is permanent, but a bestow curse would only last five turns. So maybe it only triggers when it's uh, when it's interacted with. I don't know. That's a it, so I don't know if a new. Uh, mm. A new spell needs to be devised, or if we can just use the default curse. My initial plan was to curse all of our mithril, so that uh, if anyone tries to steal the dwarves, the dwarves' weapons or armor, they become cursed. I like where you're going with this. Um, now the curses here have 50% of the time it reduces an ability to th of the victim to three, which is a little strong, I think. 25% ability. Of Right. Mm -hmm. But that's still pretty devastating. 25% of the time it lowers the victim's attack roll and saving throw by four, which seems nice. Mm -hmm. 
25% of the time it makes the victim 50% likely to drop whatever he's holding. Seems maybe better for a weapon. Like a, a weapon might, you know, someone, a non thane uses it and it falls out of their hands. Mm -hmm. um, are you, th are you thinking this can be a permanent uh, curse? I think if you enchant the armor with it while it is being forged and mm -hmm. weave this spell in every day that you work on the armor, it can be permanent. Okay. Um, so I, I think it has to be, yeah, it'll have to be part of the creation process. Okay. Which we can do for this. Can't exactly go around to the halberd ears and curse those, but... Eh, yeah, but they can be reforged and recursed. Yeah. Um, so what is going to be a good dwarven armor curse? Because dwarven plate can't really be equipped by anyone other than dwarves anyway. Oh, you're right. Um, but it might be taken by a, a non-thane who deigns to wear it themselves. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Or someone might um, shape change to be able to fit into it. Mm-hmm. Or maybe it would cur like a, maybe curse the thief that takes it. Maybe touching it would be enough to. Mm. Well, let's see. It's a good curse. It could be the minus four penalty. Mm -hmm. Freaks. To attack rolls and saving throws. Yeah. You think the stat is too is too much? I also think it's um, kind of swingy because if it like reduces your wisdom to three, yeah, that may not be that big of a deal for a lot of people. Mm hmm. Um. Hmm. Is there another curse that we could do that's not in this rule? A a different curse? Hmm. It's possible for a priest to divine his own curse. Should it? And it should be similar in power. And I think having a stat reduced to three gives us a lot of um, room to make a... Yeah, I mean, that's meant curse. to be somewhat temporary. That's meant to last <clears throat> for, like, an hour. So if it is worn by someone other than a dwarven thane, perhaps they grow sickly. Perhaps yeah. the... Yeah, perhaps if it's worn by someone their con can be reduced to three over a period of, I don't know, a day or so. Yeah. Um. Which would be an interesting curse because then they would absolutely need the armor to stay on them and then they would just be like sickly and if they take the armor off, they're still cursed and then they would have terrible con and then they would yeah. never be and able that to. that seems dwarf related, right? Dwarves mm -hmm. are constitutional affecting their con so again, let's see i'm looking at mummy rot because that's what this kind of made me think of Ooh. this is for each month the victim permanently loses two points of charisma Ooh. so it could like slowly drain the con mm-hmm yeah um, so every week that it is worn or every for every week that it is donned, you know, because you won't wear mm -hmm. it for a, a full week straight, but you wear it yeah. once, then you wear it again the next week or whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, it'll reduce con by one. Yeah. And what should we call this? Is this the dwarven curse or is this a uh, the black steel curse? Oh, yeah. There you go. I like that. Black Steel Curse. All right, so for armor, um, non thanes oh. who wear this uh, lose one point of con. Mm hmm. Per week, yeah, and I feel like I mean it, this is a curse. This is cursed by the gods, so it's probably subject to uh, Sayor's approval. But I feel like if you tried to melt it down and reforge <clears throat> it, Sayor would not look too uh, too proudly upon that. So it may be possible to inadvertently curse yourself, even if you aren't like wearing it. But yeah, I don't know. that's the main the main curse. Would be like if you, if you wear it. Mm-hmm. Okay. 
Yeah. So, and what happens if it's um, stolen? Let's say your Thane takes it off and some human rogue comes over and steals it in the night. Or a, a wizard I mean. teleports that's what I mean. in. Like, I feel like, again, it's subject to divine intervention. But mm -hmm. I feel like the curse could be... Uh, could be transferred that way. Maybe it's like for each week it's in their possession or something like that. Okay. It would get the minus one. I like, uh, so chat's suggesting that it makes you unable to grow a beard. I like that as the flavor text side effect, like the the, the manifestation of your con um, dropping is like hair falling out. Right, that's not healthy. Like so, like you're, right. You start, you start. Your beard goes patchy. And your hair gets thin Ooh. and starts falling out. Yeah. Little bits of beard, gray, mm -hmm. and then fall, and soon you gotta keep the the visor down because you can't mm -hmm. let people see that your beard is gone. Mm -hmm. Great shame. Okay. And what would the black steel curse do for weapons? Um. Hmm. That seems maybe like it could be more temporary, like um, yeah. only when wielding. Let's see. I mean, that, could that be the fumble thing? It could be the fumble thing, absolutely. I was wondering if there was anything else we wanted to do, but the fumble is nice and strong. Yeah. <clears throat> Dropped by non-black steel folk. Seems maybe more fun than just a minus four to hits and saves. Yeah. So just like a 50% chance to drop the weapon. Mm -hmm. the yeah. uh, and is this going to be by a non-dwarf or by a non-black steel? I mean, so the, the Thane's curse thing was specific to Einhard's armor obviously mm -hmm. i wouldn't do that for myself right um, for the weapons i was hoping that it would be like if any non-dwarf was gonna, that was going to be what i would okay. say if any non-dwarf wields them Affects non dwarves only. Okay. So, you have created ish a curse that you have weaved into your brother's uh, breastplate and limbs. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Excellent. All right, let's do a little bit. Well, no, we'll leave that for later. Um, so now you've got armor, and you've got weapons, some weapons. Um, your brother's armor is ready, and he tells you that he would like to go to Milfaldur and unite the other dwarves there. So he's going to go to Keldoram, take a, a boat, which he is not super thrilled about, but he'll do, to Milfaldur uh, with a, an emissary group and sort of try and unite these dwarven clans. Mm -hmm. uh, and then he asks you, <clears throat> would you like to come and show off the greatness of our clan in person? Or would you like to stay behind and continue your divine works? Hmm. I will not be offended by any answer you give. So do speak the truth. There is much work to be done. And I feel my work speak for themselves. wise notion but uh i trust your trust your judgment if i could be of use in mil faldur i've been there before but i fear my last attempt at diplomacy somewhat backfired mm -mm. maybe it would be prudent if i leave this to you besides perhaps perhaps there must there must always be a black steel and black steel keep i agree i shall set out in the morning. I've been making preparations while you have been busy at work, and we shall go to Keldoram and then Milfaldur and return in some week's time. 
May Seor bless your divine works. Hmm. May, uh, may the creator watch over you in your travels. Is, uh, is he, are you, will you take your, uh, your guards with you? Yeah. Not the ones from the mine. I will take those that I have here with me. Uh, perhaps we, I shall send a, a messenger to check in on the mines. Yes. Okay, when will you leave? In the morning. Perhaps take. one of your yeah, perhaps one of your guards should take this. I hand him the mithril halberd that I have on hand. Ooh. Uh, he, he thanks you profusely. And uh, maybe I, I have this clan flag that I guess I will affix to it. If he doesn't already have one. That you will affix to the halberd? Yeah. Perfect. Perfect, a... brother, perfect. Um I don't really have any other weapons to send with them, but it's not like they're expecting trouble. It's more they're of a not. show of force. Yeah, they'll be taking a ship there. There's that sm that short little uh, jaunt from Blacksteel Keep to Keldaram, where there there might be a little bit of trouble. But he's got sufficient warriors, and now he's got this epic plate mail, so he'll be mm -hmm. fine. Yeah. Okay. Well. He will head off, and uh, I think we're just about at our usual wrap-up point here. There's so much left to do. No. Well, um, what what do you foresee yourself needing to do? What are your uh, steps? It's mostly more forging. There's more halberds you... to make. Probably some mithril battle axes. I need to reforge my own breastplate. But I think I've gotten all the big stuff done. I think we've made the items and the uh, and the spells we had intended. Mm hmm. Excellent. Um, yeah. I think, yeah, I think we've hit all the big notes. It's probably just more of the same. What date are we at in game? Ah, uh, we are 334 days after starting. Um, so 365 minus 334 is uh, one month before... Uh, exactly one month. One year minus one month. Exactly 11 months um, in the future from where we started today. Okay, so there's still like six months left before uh, present day. Uh, no, we're just still a year before present day. Okay. Yeah, we... So hopefully in that time I'll have mithril armor, a mithril battle axe, more halberds. Mm-hmm. A, a contingent of dwarves as well? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Excellent. There is Whiteheart Blacksteel episodes. Here we go. So we should be uh, April, May 14th, 1511. Oh, I want a Mithril Shield too. Yeah. And uh, our, you'll also have to check in on the mines as well. Yeah. At some point. Then a messenger or whatever. Mm-hmm. And they might, if they have done well, there should be new mithril there ready for you. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's do some experience because you had done some stuff here today. Um, you have created a new spell, which is worth some amount of experience. How do we figure out XP for new spells? I don't know. It's a third level spell, right? Mm hmm. Mm. 
I don't know that there are hard and fast rules. There is like 100 XP per spell level cast or something like that. But I feel like there should be a lot more for our spells researched. Yeah. Um, here's my DMG. Spell research. Costs money that we didn't actually uh, spend, but... Oh. What's a thousand GP for a dwarf? For a dwarf and Thane's brother, nonetheless. Combat, NPCs, encounters, this chapter, what chapter's experience? Is it chapter eight? Yes, here we go. Spells successfully researched. For wizards is 500 XP per spell level. Um, priests do that's not for like, research spells. Yeah, that's for like researching. That's for like I want to research fireball. It's not right. for inventing a new spell, but well, it's the same, 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 same. right? Yeah. yeah. So 1500 experience. All right, so that's for making a new spell. Um, we're gonna do. Some, oh, you also did the curse spell, which isn't a new spell, but it's sort of a, a modification. Was that a yeah. second level or third level spell? It's third level as well. Okay, so I'll give you half for making a, a, a variation on that. There's also the um, tree stuff. Maybe we could round that up to a full for like variation of those two spells. Sure. Yeah, the clever use of tree to get you the right components that you need, the self-sacrifice involved, the bleeding. Uh, you've also learned how to make plate armor and also mm -hmm. learned how to make plate armor out of mithril, which mm -hmm. should be a, like a, rogues get like two XP for gold piece of uh, treasure obtained. So I think I want to give you like two XP for GP value of the plate mail you've created. So for like, I'm ignoring the mithril, call it like a thousand, do you mean? No, I was going to include the mithril. Um, I just have to figure out the cost, how much that would, if you were to buy that on the market, not the magic stuff aside. Then let's see, the weight would be 60. The value is 90,000 in copper. When it's made out of mithril. Okay, we're definitely not giving, oh, of GP. Mm -hmm. Okay, whew. Uh, that's still a little bit much. Making it out of mithril what, makes it crazy. What is the, what is the cost of the mithril plate? 55,000 gold. <laughs> And I don't think we could right. give you 100,000 GP or uh, 100,000 no. experience seems a little much. Uh, right now I have 15,000 in each of my classes. So like okay, so why don't we just give you the, it, it would be 9,000, I'm sorry, 900 XP if it were made out of copper. Um, right. Or 900, no, okay. 900 gold if it's made out of copper. So yeah. that would be 1,800 if it were... Seems made out of enough. mithril. Is that for making it or for making it for the first time? I think that's going to be making it for the first time. Yeah. Oops. Plus 1,800. Um, now, you did make it out of mithril, so I want to give you a modifier for the mithrilness of it because you're also learning this new metal. Um... So let's say plus another 50%. That was the additional time cost. Okay, yeah. Uh, and let's see. Then you made another plate, which maybe a little bit of experience for, but not full experience for it. So let's give maybe some a little bit of this. And there was no combat. Oh, um, there were halberds. I don't know if those are... Oh, you did you did forge halberds, right? You made right. four of them. Yeah, casting a second level spell is normally what, like a hundred experience. Yeah, you could just throw in like four hundred XP for that. Yeah, I think that's fair. And um, let's do some quest XP because you have created this. In addition to just making this plate, you are you've created like magical thane armor that is going to be the symbol of your Dwarven kingdom. It's a, a pretty big major plot point, so let's do... 
um, major plot point XP. Um, and I think that should be it. Maybe? I think so. Yeah. All right, so that will be uh, 9,400 XP total by my calculations. Divided by two? Yes. Oh, do you get 10%? Uh, my fighter does. Okay. But I haven't, I don't think I've been doing that. I don't know what, I, I think I was lowering the fighter level up requirement by 10%, which oh, actually okay. doesn't matter in this case. Yeah. Because I do break 20,000 just barely. I'm 20,082. So I think my fighter levels up. So you are 5-5 five, five now? Yeah, it is 20,000 20, just levels up a fighter. And I think the next cleric level is like 30,000. Oof, that's a lot. Clerics do 13 and then 27, 500. Okay. And fighters are, you're reducing by 10%. Yeah. Fighters are 2, 4, 8, 16, 32. Two, four, eight. Oh, 16. So I was just yeah. shy of yeah, yeah. leveling up fighter. Okay. So level five fighter brings me up to plus four to hit. Want to give us an HP roll? Yeah, it'll be a D10 <coughs> plus divided one by two. divided by two. Yep. The plus one gets split, right? Yep. Come on, meh. That's not meh. Whatever. I haven't seen it yet. Five. Oh, it's five. five plus total. Uh, uh, no. Five on the die. Okay. Yeah, five on the die. Well, that's all right. That's fine. We have to it's thirty-four fine. max HP. I don't think there are, any, are there saves. I think I might already be using cleric saves. Hmm. What level fighter did you become? Five. Yeah. Yeah, so the fighters will get slightly new saves at five. I think you get to pick the best of the two, right? You do. So down the line, is that how we did it? Yeah, yeah. So the fighter down the line at five is 11, 13, 12, 13, 14. Is that? Right. I don't think uh, that's better that on anything. The breath weapon is better for fighters. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I get a 13 on my breath weapon. Um, what do I have? Nine, yeah, I've got priest stuff. I've got nine, and then dwarf gives me plus four versus rod staves and wands, and versus toxins. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and spells, I think. Hmm. It's either dwarves or gnomes get it for spells. I can never remember which one. Hmm. I have my save versus spell is really good, but maybe I misread things. Uh... Oh, yeah, and spells. Yep. Yeah, sweet. Against all magical attacks, well, magical wands, rod stabs, spells, and toxins. Lovely. Um, no proficiencies or anything. Uh, no, no. Cool. Excellent. Well, that is going to wrap us up for the day with Zwihod. Um, I bet I'm just betting that next week we will probably continue Zwihod a little bit. Uh, maybe Good. flesh there's, out a few more things. There's more mithril to forge. Excellent. Uh, what what did I say the date was? It was five fourteen. Yes. What's five fourteen? Oh, the uh. Yes, fifteen eleven oh five fourteen in Eridon. I see what death. Uh, Zwahard crafts. Warven mithril plate mail. Excellent. Excellent. This is a non-violent event. 
Oh, is that my, my calendar? Yeah, my calendar is color coded to like specific types of events, um, mm -hmm. and one of them is nonviolent. Just like yes. interesting things of note. Yes, the armor of Thanes. Excellent, excellent. All right, so we're gonna wrap up here for the day. Later today, there's gonna be some Empires of Arcadia if you're watching live. Next week, we'll have some Zweihard. Yeah, this weekend, is it a chit chat or is it a. We got a chit chat this weekend. Okay. Yeah. Hobos in another couple weeks. Hobos in another couple weeks. Mm hmm. Perfect. You're just trying to delay Hobo so we get stuck on the wrong side of that anti-demon barrier. <laughs> uh, well, you're not extra planar creatures, right? Uh, maybe Grimes, has been Grimes has been careful to keep his mouth shut. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Good All right. stuff. More plugs, more, uh, no. more shout outs. You good? Unless you have something to shout out. Nope. Thanks nope. for watching. All right. We'll see you guys next week. Bye, -bye everyone. Bye bye.